This video will review how to rewrite quadratic functions in the three different forms, those forms being standard form, vertex form, and factored form. We're going to start with an example that's written in standard form. This is the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. In this case, we're going to take the function y equals x squared plus 12x plus 27 and rewrite it in both factored form and vertex form. In this case, we really could start with either method, factored form or vertex form. There really is no advantage. I'm going to go and start with the factored form. In order to factor a trinomial, we're going to try using a diamond problem, provided it's a 1x squared. In this case it is, so I'll set up the diamond in this fashion. The top number, the product, is found by the constant, or the c-value of the trinomial. The bottom, which is the sum, is found by the b-term. In this case I'm looking for two numbers, or two factors, that multiply to be 27 and add to be 12. Going through the various combinations of multiplying to be 27, I know that 9 times 3 is 27, and 9 plus 3 is 12. If it's a 1x squared, I can now go from my diamond problem to my factored form. I know that the factored form would be y equals the quantity x plus 9 and quantity x plus 3. To find the vertex form, I'm going to take my trinomial back to standard form, y equals x squared plus 12x plus 27, and I'm going to group the pieces that have x. I'll say y equals the quantity x squared plus 12x plus something, and then plus 27. That something term at the end of the um, parentheses I'll find it by taking the 12 and cutting it in half. Half of 12 is 6, and I'm going to have to square that. Now, by putting plus 6 here, I've completed the square. However, in order to maintain the, in order to maintain the equality of the equation, if I've added one group of 6 squared, I need to subtract one group of 6 squared also. Again, it's to maintain the equality. Adding 36 and subtracting 36 really doesn't change the equation. I can now complete the square with the parentheses and rewrite the x squared plus 12x plus 6 squared as the quantity x plus 6 squared. Outside the parentheses, I'm going to go and simplify the plus 27 minus 6 squared by saying it's plus 27 minus 36. Now I'm almost done. The only thing I need to do is combine like terms at the end. A 27 and a negative 36, when you combine, would be a minus 9. So I can say the vertex form for this will be the quantity x plus 6 squared minus 9. This helps me to find the vertex of the um, parabola. It would be negative 6, negative 9. Each of these forms is helpful for certain things. Standard form tells you the stretch factor, the orientation, the y-intercept. Factored form is very helpful for finding what the x-intercepts are going to be. Vertex form tells you the stretch factor, the orientation, and the vertex. So again, each one has pros and cons. For the next example, we're going to take something that is in factored form. In this case, it's y equals 2 quantity x minus 4 times quantity x minus 6. We're going to go ahead and start by finding the standard form. I really need to do that before I do the vertex form, because in order to go from factored form to vertex form, you first have to find what the standard form is going to be, because you're going to use that as one of the steps. To begin, I could either distribute the 2 times the quantity x minus 4, in which case I'd get 2x minus 8, and then multiply that by the quantity x minus 6, do a double distribution or do the boxes, or I can start by multiplying the quantity x minus 4 times quantity x minus 6, and then when I'm done, distribute the 2. And that's actually the method I'm going to use here. I'm going to say that we have the y equals 2 in front, and then in the quantity x minus 4 times quantity x minus 6, if we were to do double distribution, x times x is going to be x squared. The negative 4 times x is negative 4x. x times negative 6 is negative 6x. And negative 4 times negative 6 is positive 24. I need to simplify this out a little bit. I have some like terms inside the parentheses. The negative 4x and the negative 6x is negative 10x. So if I simplify it, I'll get y equals 2 quantity x squared minus 10x plus 24. And the only thing I need to do now is distribute the 2. 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times negative 10x is negative 20x. And then 2 times 24 is 48. And there's my standard form. It's y equals 2x squared minus 20x plus 48. Now that I know what the standard form is, I can find the vertex form. Again, to do the vertex form, I'm going to group the pieces that have the x. In this case, I'm going to say it's y equals the quantity 2x squared minus 20x, and then plus 48. If I do that and then factor out a 2, because in this case we do not have a 1x squared, this will leave me 2 quantity x squared minus 10x, and then the plus 48. The way I did that is I said, well, I know it's a 2x squared, I've got to take out a 2. So if I divide each piece by 2, 2x squared divided by 2 is just a 1x squared. Negative 20x divided by 2 is a negative 10x. That's how I found the two numbers inside the parentheses. Now to complete the square inside that parentheses, I need to break it down a little bit. Half of the negative 10 is going to be negative 5. So I'm going to have to add the quantity negative 5 squared. 
Now, really what I've done is I have two quantities of negative 5 squared. In order to maintain the equality here, I've got to also subtract two quantities of negative 5 squared. To complete the square inside the parentheses, I'm going to say this is y equals 2, and then x squared minus 10x plus the negative 5 squared can be rewritten as the quantity x minus 5 squared. On the outside of the parentheses, I can clean this up a little bit also, I'm going to have the plus 48 come down, but then the negative 5 times negative 5 would be 25, and then 25 times negative 2 would be negative 50. So if I rewrite this a little bit, I'll have this. 2 quantity x minus 5 squared. Again, I just completed the square inside the parentheses. And then plus 48 brought down. And then if I clean the negative 2 times negative 5 squared, I get the negative 50. The only thing left to do is combine the like terms at the end. 48 minus 50 is negative 2. So my vertex form would look like this. y equals 2 quantity x minus 5 squared minus 2. Now in our last example, we're going to start with something that is already in vertex form. If we have the vertex form, we're going to go ahead and change it to standard form. The way we're going to do this is we're going to square out that x plus 3 piece. The quantity x plus 3 squared really means the quantity x plus 3 times quantity x plus 3. So we could use double distribution or use the boxes to multiply this out. We'd have y equals 3, and then x times x is x squared, x times 3 is 3x, three, 3 times x is also 3x, and then 3 times 3 is 9. I still have the minus 75 piece at the end. If I then distribute the 3, 3 times x squared is 3x squared. Oh, sorry, I got a little bit um, out of order. i got to add the 3x on 3x. Now I'll go and distribute. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times 6x is 18x. And 3 times 9 is 27. The last step here to get standard form is just take the 27 and the negative 75. Combine those together, and we get y equals 3x squared plus 18x minus 48. In order to find factored form, I'm going to take the standard form, and I'm going to rewrite it. However, because it's not a 1x squared, I can't use just my diamond problem. I need to get it down to where it's a 1x squared, if possible. In this case, it's a 3x squared. But I notice that each of the terms, the 3x squared, the 18x, and the negative 48, is divisible by 3. So if I factor out a 3 here, I would get y equals 3 quantity x squared plus 6x minus 16. Again, I just divided everything by 3. 3x squared divided by 3 is a 1x squared. 18x divided by 3 is a 6x. And negative 48 divided by 3 is negative 16. Now that it's a 1x squared, I can do my diamond problem. Again, I need to find numbers that multiply to be negative 16 and add to be 6. In this case, it's going to be 8 times negative 2. 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. 8 minus 2 is 6. If I go to my factored form, I've already got the 3 in front. I need to rewrite that. And then it's the quantity x plus 8 times quantity x minus 2. It should look like this. And this is the factored form of the quadratic. It's y equals 3 quantity x plus 8 times quantity x minus 2. All right, I hope this helped, and um, good luck when you do these on the test.